Aloha and welcome to the Solar Coaster Live Show. We are here with a great group of guys, uh, special guests. Uh, we're going to be learning about Osiaco, the company Osiaco, and the DC Bell, which is just blowing my mind. So we want to uh, say hello here to M.A., Mr. Mark Forget. Did I pronounce that correctly, Mark? Absolutely correct, and M.A. is fine. Thanks, Josh, to have us uh, with you today. And of course, Dan Fletcher. Been talking to Dan for a while. Aloha, Dan. Aloha, Josh. Great to see you again. Uh, excited about this, too. Remind us of the tech specs of the product itself. I, I think I see it right there uh, to, uh, on, on Mar Mark's shoulder. So can you, can you walk us through this, Mark? Um, that's a Decibel uh, 21. Uh, so uh, as this configuration right now on my desk is 15.2 kilowatts solar to MPPT, capability to charge car up to 15.2 kilowatt discharge rate for the bi-directional charger at 7.6 kilowatts right now. Um, dual DC and AC charger, we can charge two car at the same time with the product. And it's also has the capability also to charge and discharge a battery, stationary battery at 7.6 kilowatts. Um, it's powered by Orchestrate OS or own operating system that have the capability to deploy over the air new applications uh, to connect to any of your smart home device um, as this. And we have a price point um, that's going to starting a bit uh, above $4,000 for all this uh, included. I know we, we live in a very technical world, but energy is so personal. It's about more than just the spec. It's about your interaction with the product. Like Dan said so well, right? This thing gonna be on your wall for 15 years. So why those industrial looking products? So for example, we hire Paul Dutchman. Paul is a Porsche designer, is a Corvette designer, a world renowned car designer to design Decibel, to be in temporal, to be, you know, a piece of beauty on your wall. This is important. Uh, Fred Faubert, um, this is the chief creative officer. He worked at Pixar Game, Walt Disney Company, Lego, you know, designed the UI to interact with the family, to, to go more than just that technical spec, you know, to, to make CO2 saving fun, to make energy saving fun, to make money saving fun. I think it's, it, this is where, I think it's where closer to an iPhone. We have this technology, yes. Uh, we, I think we have great spec, but I think we have more than that. I think we have some energy soul that we try to oh, include yeah. into Decibel. You can always immediately tell when you walk in an, into a product booth a demonstration and you see the first display and you can tell, well, the engineer designed this one. <laughs> <laughs> well said, beautiful. Yeah, um, no, it's, it's a fantastic, it just looks the part it's immediately understandable and i really appreciate the fact that you guys went ahead with the ui ux got somebody who really knew what they were doing <laughs> you mentioned that you have the capacity to have a home supercharger i think that was the language you used because of the high, uh, high voltage dc i'm sorry could you just frank reframe that again because it sounded like we don't have that and now we do <laughs> it sounded like that <laughs> Yes, uh, to, to make it simple to, to understand, uh, the box you have right now, if you have an EV at home, is not a charger, okay? Uh, it's basically a wire from the wall to your car. But the, the point is, the charger belong to is in the car right now. So if you own a Chevy Bolt today, uh, you're going to be happy if you charge at six kilowatt per hour at home. Uh, the battery can charge faster, but you need to reach a DC charger. You need someone that's going to give that DC power, that 400 volt plus power to the car. Okay. So therefore, this is where I disable is different. So here's in the back with the supersonic kit, we can achieve 21 kilowatt at home of DC charging. We bypass that AC DC converter in the car. So it's just like when you plug on a supercharger on the highway. So we can charge at 21, up to 21 kilowatts. Even this version that I have on my desk right now at 15.2 kilowatts, it's good enough to give you about a mile a minute of charging. Fantastic. Well, gentlemen, can't thank you enough uh, for joining us on the show today. Any last minute words, Mark? I'm pleased to announce uh, Disabel Essentials. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I was wondering if you did so, this. <laughs> yeah, so in Q2 next year, and we're going to announce it shortly. But usually when we announce our product, we ship. 
a 7.6 kilowatt solar inverter. That's include the bi-directional charger capability, dual charger, orchestrate OS with the private app store and over the air updates, starting at 1500 US dollars. I think this is where when we are very serious when we say we want to improve, energy should be personal again. And that also start by making product with functionality that people can buy and serve a purpose. And this is really at the core of us, Yako. So I'm super happy to announce it today, Josh, on your show. Um, we're not ready to ship. Again, we're going to announce it. We're going to show uh, the product probably in a month from now. Stay tuned. Uh, but we're very serious about it. I think the world's going to be very surprised.